So we're gonna get ourselves moving, just getting circulation going and building circulation. And then we're going to work through, so basically what we're really gonna do is work the pump system and the different speeds of the pump system. And then we'll go into working with the magnetic system and uh, the isometric exercises, which then bind that together. And it really helps to increase circulation when the body's biomagnetics are working in tune with it as well, because that helps your posture to find its stability, while at the same time, the muscles and tendons can relax. And then you have a nice circulation happening at the same time. So we're gonna start first just using the earth, pushing into the ground. We're gonna relax the shoulders. Make sure to roll the shoulders back. And then we're gonna push into the ground, slowly reaching up, bringing the arms up. Now, as you get to the top here, this is where you wanna open the hands and stretch them apart, all in between. And that way, when you come back down, you relax that, draw the elbows inward. So this works like a pump. You want your wrists to just drop with it. Keep the elbows in, and then we're gonna push forward through the hips, reaching back. Let the fingers extend all the way out as you're grabbing something and then bring the hips back to neutral, push into the ground. We're gonna breathe into the core here. And then remember, relax the hands, the wrists, the elbows, but bring them in close as you come down. And then coming forward. And so this is a nice breath in as you push into the ground, feel your core swell. Feel the joints open and then breathe out, let it come back. So it's like letting an elastic band come back really slow. And as the arms are coming down, you wanna pull the abdomen in and up, lifting the diaphragm. And as the arms are coming up, you wanna push that pressure down. Wanna make sure to keep the teeth aligned with each other and the tip of the tongue connected to the root of the palate. Okay, and we're gonna come down, push, turn the palms now facing each other, coming up. You're gonna reach back down as you, as you come, uh, reach out as you come back down, nice and slow. Draw the shoulders back, bringing the hands back slightly. Let the weight go into the hands, feel the blood go into the hands, and then breathe in. Feel how pushing into the ground is lifting the arms. And then as the arms come down like a hydraulic, slowly relax, sink in through the legs like roots. And you get to here, let the blood flow into the hands. Keep slowly opening through the shoulders and the sternum. And then come forward again when you breathe in. Again, you're breathing down, you're pushing the pressure into the core. And then when you breathe out, you're raising the belly, raising the diaphragm up.
Okay, now we'll start working side to side. So you're gonna push in, bring the left hand over the right hand, bringing it through. Remember to stay in your center so you don't wanna sway from side to side. Coming back through, breathing in as you come forward. Bottom hand now becomes the top hand, so the right hand now goes on top. Breathing out into the twist. And just feel that nice gentle flow and wave-like movement through the arms. Feel as though you're turning the energy, flipping it over as you go through the core, through the center, back through the neutral point. So I'm gonna sweep up and turn it. Contract the belly here. And then as you come back, let the core swell. Okay, now we're gonna progress a little further. So as we progress, we're gonna change the breath now. So before the poles of, of changing the breath were here and here, now they're gonna be here and here. So what we're gonna do is, as you come back, push into the ground, and this is when you're breathing in, and bring it over, and then as you get to here, you're gonna breathe out. Because then you're gonna move into a twist and then push into the ground, breathing in. Now, as I'm breathing in, you wanna feel how the energy moves from the heel all the way up the back. And by the time you get to here, you actually wanna lift up out of your shoulder. So uh, one of the metaphors for this, or the, the practicalities for this is Marshall. Uh, just so you'd understand the mechanics. If I were to throw someone, like if I was to get under and hook someone under here and throw them, I have to lift I have to push into the ground so all my joints open like this as I'm doing it. So that's kind of, as you're coming up, you're bringing something over and you wanna feel how that energy goes all the way up through here with freedom. And then you bring it back down. And then you, you compress it. So it's like opening and lengthening it. And then as you come down, let it compress. Now the side that you're going over, 
is the side you want to push a little bit more emphasis into. If you push into this area on your foot here, on the ridge of your foot, as you're like getting over to here, you'll feel how it moves on its own just by pushing there. It's funny if you consider what an ant can lift just based on leverage and angles. Okay, now we're gonna just very slowly begin increasing the speed just a little bit. So energy-wise, as you're moving like this, you're kind of moving within an, uh, okay, I'll break it up for a second so you understand. Circular movement will increase energy as it spins. Kind of like when they're working with uh, high energy physics, particle physics, they like to put them in a centrifuge and spin them. If you're going to do chemistry to bind them, you put it in a centrifuge, circular movement. And so what we're doing here on each side, you're actually almost kind of creating an infinity loop. And so this really creates a wonderful feedback loop for the body. And for, for circulation, I'm just gonna speed this up just so you, un you get an understanding of it, but just go at your own pace for a second, just so you understand. So when I get very loose and I rely on the ground and I'm just getting a nice movement going and I've done that really slow so that my body now understands it, I can really speed it up. And the chi that builds in the hands is phenomenal. Like it gets a really good pump in there and it's really good for your circulation. So let your body go free for a moment and just kind of feel that. Don't, don't try to go too quickly though. You want to make sure that precision is still a part of it so that you're getting the proper circulation. If there was a slight angle and it wasn't a perfect circle in your centrifuge, fuge, you'd have a little bit of an issue. So you always want to make sure your centrifuge is centrifugal. <laughs> that it's actually a good circle. So, Find that point where you can relax into it, but not tighten, and then that'll be a good speed to work from. Everyone's different, and so it's going to be relative based. Yeah, as you begin to speed up, thank you, that's a good question. As you begin to speed up, your breath should be more just relaxed and fluid. But good pointers are that when you drop, that's a good time to breathe out because uh, you're dropping chi. And as you're dropping chi, you need to displace energy with that, and that's where the exhalation comes out. And depending on whether or not you get dizzy or not, you can even start moving the head with it. And that way you get that full relationship going all the way up through here and right up into the back of the neck. But you want to stay in your plumb line the entire time. That's the trick. And that plumb line would be between the crown and the anus. So you don't want to come forward or back or outside of that straight line through the body.
Okay, so what we're going to do now is reverse it. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So I'll go this way. Okay, so you're going to come down, just reach up behind you, and then push it over and around. So now you're coming up forward. So if you, if, you've, if you got confused, just follow me on this one for a sec. You're coming up and forward, dropping down and back. Up and forward, down and back. Up and forward, down and back. Okay, so we'll try it one more time. Come down. Going up and forward. So, if you want to just follow in there, go up and forward, drop it down and back. Up and forward, down and back. There we go. Up and forward, down and back. I know, that's why I'm breaking this one down. The brain loves this one. <laughs> and bring it up and forward. Down and back, up and forward, down and back. So we'll just break this one down nice and slow, get that movement, and then we'll speed it up again. So you're gonna underhand throw something to that corner. There you go. Then you're gonna underhand throw something to that corner. And that helps the brain figure that out. And then once it's relaxed and staying in the plumb line, then it speeds up. So there'll be people out there wanting to do it slow, people out there wanting to do it quick. I'm going to go in between. Great energy for the spine. Okay, and then we'll bring it back forward. Now keep it moving, but now we're gonna bring it back up and down, but this time with nice relaxed motion. Using your legs to move the arms. You want to breathe in as you push into the floor and bring the arms up. So this is the breath in, and this is the breath out. You know how when, when someone, like they show in the cartoons or something, if they want to over-exaggerate, when someone does that. So you're going from yippee <laughs> to <laughs> except keeping structure. <sighs> Now, of course, the emotional content will be very different. Both ends will be happy. And as you come down, you want to pull that internal belly in. So like with breath of fire, in a way, a little bit more slower controlled breath of fire. You want to push it out when the arms come up and you want to pull it in and up when the arms come down. So your internal body is working complementary opposite with your external body. <sighs> Now, if you'd like, we can try coming up onto the toes. That's up to you, though. Either just continue through the heels and flat foot. If you want to come up onto the toes. Anyone with knee issues, I would definitely say not to get up onto the toes. <laughs> but if you don't have knee issues, this is really good. Now 
And you can see what I'm doing here with my chin. So as I go out, I stick the chin out. When I go up, I tuck the chin in. That way I'm still working the chin pump with it too. That helps to keep energy pumping up the spine. Okay, bring it back down, nice and slow, nice and slow. And then we're gonna get into a nice little shake. So we can get the bounce going. Got some nice happy tunes for this one. So you're gonna close the eyes, go into the body now. You wanna get your gut to relax. Try to see if you can shake your organs a little bit in there. You wanna thrust the hips back and forth with it as well. Okay, we're gonna work through the shoulders now. So we're gonna lift the shoulders with it and just drop them. So that's on the inhale when you lift, on the exhale when you drop. So we're getting the breath rapid here. We're gonna start working the breath of fire with it. Drop it back down into the body, into the wrists now. Bring the hands up over the belly. I'm gonna wind the legs just a little bit, just a little. Get the hips moving more. Keep it relaxed. Let's come up over the heart now. Give more to the arms now. Okay, let's get some circles going now. I'm gonna go back into the bounce. You know, the side profile. So it's like you're turning a wheel. You've got a handle with a wheel and you're just turning it. Except don't put your hands this way. Keep your hands this way and relaxed. Let the wrists go. Let them just circulate, move in circles. Try to let the push move the circulation of the arms. And then we'll go to the sides, kind of like a bipolar, uh, bipropeller, oh my god, <laughs> a biplane. <laughs> So more than anything with this one, you're working through the elbow. So see how the elbow is just doing a little circle? As though you're tracing two circles on a wall. Okay, we're gonna go for another brain teaser. Open and reverse. And then we'll bring it back forward again.
Okay, you're gonna bring it back down, shake it out. And really get the rib cage and the shoulders going now. So you wanna lift them. Come back to the ground. Now you're gonna push into the ground, lift up the shoulders, but make sure the pressure of your breath goes into your core. You're not lifting the breath, you're, you're compressing the breath, but you're creating space by moving the body this way, okay? When you come back down, pull it in and up. Heels come down to the knees, and then we're gonna start lifting the belly and doing the uh, breath of fire. So we're gonna, just for now, because of regulations and stuff, we're not gonna be doing it through the mouth. We're just gonna do it through the nose. and out. You're gonna sink with it. Then breathe in, push into the ground. Press. Breathe out, bring it down. And we're gonna press. Breathe in, bring it up. Try to rotate the rib cage with it as you're coming up. And we're gonna bring in the chin pump, so you're gonna raise the chin. And then when you come back down, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone just a little bit. Press. Then breathe in. Raise the tailbone a little bit as you raise the chin with it. Push into the ground. Swell your core. Breathing out, deflating the core. Coming back to neutral. Tucking the tailbone. Tucking the chin. Contracting the belly. Working through the natural rotation of the shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna come down and we're gonna sweep the right hand through the front, left hand through the back. Push into the feet as you're going. So both hands face up, but you wanna get a nice twist too so that you're getting a nice uh, twist of the tendons and you're pushing into the ground. So you're coming up, then come through. As you come through, relax the arms but lead through the elbows. Push into the ground. Breathing out, left hand through the front now.
Okay, we're gonna come up, bring the palms together. Bring them in. Breathe in, open. Breathe out. And in. And we're going to bring the palms together. So again, you're using the body like this. And you're going to come down into a bit of a squat, kind of a horse stance. And just wiggle from side to side. Okay, quicken it, quicken it. And then we're gonna bring the hands to the lower back. Draw the elbows back, breathe here. And come back. So as the arms start to get tired, you want to start giving more to the body. Try to keep the arms relaxed. Try to start using the arms less and using the body more. Then every so often go back to using the arms with the body. The more this is done, the more the relationship is formed between them to work together. Okay, we're gonna take the hands and do inverted triangle, thumbs connecting at the navel. Draw the arms back, open the sternum, breathe, close the eyes, relax. Go into the heat. We're gonna sink a little bit now into the stance, like you're gonna sit on a chair. And let's go back to the hands. A little deeper now. 
a little bit more vigorous. So we're also working on willpower, exercising the fabric of the willpower. Okay, quicken it, quicken it. And then we're gonna bring the hands to the neck, interlace the fingers. Relax the hands here, relax the arms here as much as you can. Tuck the chin, push the back of the neck very gently, push the back of the neck very gently into the hands. Okay, get ready. Come back. Getting a good sweat. <laughs> good detox. Okay, get ready. Now we're gonna bring the palms on the temples. Fingers up. Remember, fingers up. Batman ears. <laughs> So you want to bring the elbows forward, opening the back. Breathe with your core. Fingers up. Observe the heart here. Breathe slow and deep and cool the heart. Calm it down. Observe how the heart pumps into the brain. Slow it down. Observe, observe the sweat, the pores opening, the body cleansing. One more. Just let the sweat come down now. Okay, let's get deep with it now. Go at your pace, of course. At the same time, allow yourself to push just a little further than normal now. Using a little bit of willpower in there. <laughs> OK, 
Three jewels of Taoism. Intention, willpower, and breath. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Right hand on the crown, left hand on top. Center of the palms aligned with each other. Sink with it. Slowly walk the feet together. Not touching, but inner shoulder width. Breathe in, push into your feet and open. Let it drop through the shoulders. Try to face the palms towards the ceiling as much as you can. Gonna gaze up. Now breathing in. Breathe out left hand to the right knee. Breathe in. Breathe out, right hand to the left knee. We're gonna go back and forth. Let yourself ground before going to the next side or you'll start building up an oscillation of wobbling. So instead you wanna work through your center, ground yourself. And just give a little push, so the leg's gently pushing the hand, the hand is gently pushing the leg until there's no more exhalation. Always allow yourself to sink back through the plumb line. Enter that plumb line, and it's easier to go to the next side. Okay, so give yourself a good grounding. And then we're gonna go to each side and hold it for about two or three minutes, okay? Work at your pace.
Just observe what your body is doing while you're in this posture too. It's a good time to observe the magnetics of the body and how it's trying to reorganize itself. and then raise the leg up by pushing down into this leg first, then this leg comes up and then bring it down. And then we'll switch, but ground yourself first. Also try to work with your balance with your eyes up or at least forward, but not looking down. Make sure you're not looking down. Again, observe the body, see what it's trying to do, feel it out. It'll keep changing. A lot of variables going on in here. When your body is trying to instill new principles, the variables are always working against it at first until it formulates itself. And I'm gonna lift the leg up, push down before coming back and bring it down. Breathe it in, bring the hands together. Breathe in open. And begin pressing. So again, you wanna stay in alignment with your heart center. Relax the shoulders. Let the shoulders sink while you're doing this. And you're slowly building the push. Slowly building the push until eventually you're pushing as hard as you can. And then we're gonna just start stretching forward a bit more, opening the elbows, lengthening the tendons. Push through the fingertips. Let's take our time with it more today. And now we're gonna start really increasing the strength and then try to pace it. Once you feel, okay, this is a good strong push, try to just hold and maintain that amount of pressure.
you know, really give it, really give it now, everything you got. Now very, very slowly let it dissolve. Let it dissolve. Don't let it happen quickly. It should happen really slow, layer by layer, like peeling back an onion, layer by layer. You're dissolving the tension layer by layer, degree by degree. Just keep it nice and relaxed. Make sure to keep the arms out here though. Yeah. And then when you feel completely relaxed, then you can open the palms. And then just work with that. Play around with it. Again, in little circles. It loves the circles. Little pulses. Okay, now we're gonna move at the wrist and turn the hands to face the body as though you're holding a big round sphere of energy or a beach ball, something round and spherical. And relax, we're gonna sink into your feet now as though you're growing roots out of your feet into the earth. We're drawing up through the crown, through the plumb line. So now try to focus on keeping your middle fingers aligned with each other. And we're gonna move real close together, but not touch. And then we're going to push into the ground, breathe in, open. Bring the hands down towards the chest as you come in. And we're just going to scan over the body, You're going to come down nice and slow. Intermingle with the earth and draw it back up behind the legs. You're going to bring it around the front, draw it up, breathing in overhead, back down, so you're breathing out of course as you go down, breathing in as you come up. You're gonna come back to the heart center. Push it out, coming down the arm. Bring it around, draw it up. Open. Back down, breathing out. Breathing in. Out.
Okay, we're gonna open and breathe out. Open. Back to center, breathe out. Breathe in, open. Breathe out. Okay, and last side. Bring the hands up, cross the wrists over, coming forward, and we're gonna start pushing the arms this way now. Now really give it. Really try to get those wrists connected as much as you can. Really give it your last good effort. And now let it dissolve nice and slow. Really slow. Really slow. And then once the arms feel relaxed, align the palms. I, I like to just drop the wrist and bring it over and then just let it push however it's gonna push. Bend your knees good too if you feel the pushing, pulling you back. Of course, let it dissolve on its own. And if you feel the need to dissolve it, it always helps to just bring the feet in closer. Sometimes it just kind of stays. And then if you want to just diffuse it, then you just drop on your heels and you'll feel how it just drops. So we'll give ourselves just a little bit of a, just a very light bounce. And we're gonna breathe in. Breathing out.
And in the last few, really draw in that breath now. Push into the ground. Flare the nostrils. Absorbing the breath of life. Okay, we'll finish off with some ohms, but with the mouth closed so that you can feel the whole body resonating. to keep the teeth connected. Last few external, meaning audible. down, bring the palms facing forward. Let your armpits open a little bit. It's good to let them breathe. And you're just gonna relax here, close the eyes, grounding through the feet. You want your hips neutral, your spine and your crown in alignment with the plumb line. The top, free, the top teeth and bottom teeth are connected with each other and the tip of the tongue is connected to the root of the palate. 